Hey guys, I'm back, and um, we're going to go over the Halloween data mine. So I hope you can hear me, so let's go. So first, the Yuxi Legendary Arena. Um, here's everything. So our Halloween units this year are Morty and Caitlyn. Um, we have the Alola Champion Stadium, with um, our champions being Kukui from Sun and Moon. And then Ultra Orange Moon has Hao. And also Hala and Molain will then switch places too. So that's pretty cool. Um, we have... a we have a Poison Ghost Egg event. Um, Sinks and Misty and Eric are both techs. Um, Morty's a tech. Caitlyn's a support. Uh, my, my boy Alistair is a tech. Drock is a tech. Um, here's Erica's suit. Her 6 RDX barely changes. Caitlyn looks sick in both suits. Misty's great, fantastic. Morty looks sick. There's Drox. Alistair looks really nice. Shiny Arbok and Gengar. Coughing, Vaporeon, Mega Mewtwo Y. Oh yeah, Giovanni gets Mega Mewtwo Y. Mega Bidant, Leafeon, Yuxi, the Univ Stadium, the Alola Stadium, the event. So now all these banners, um, we also have a change to the daily rotation battle, I believe. So we'll get to that in a minute. So there, here are all the medals. Um, we'll get to the dates in a minute. Um, yes, yeah, so here are all the tickets. So it's Johto, Hoenn, Sinnoh, Univa, and I think Kalos. So, Sings with Misty and Sings with Erica, here they are. There's a re regular random rerun for Morty, Jasmine, and Faulkner. Um, one for Lon and Araquanid. Um, Hoenn's May, Lithia, and Sydney. And then we have here's the actual banner for Morty and Caitlyn. And then, I don't know what these banners are. Maybe these are like the tiered scouts. I don't know why he's paired up with Sydney and B. I don't know why you're paired up with Faulkner and Nessa, but okay. There's Alistair's banner, there's Duroc's banner, the rebound of last year's Halloween units, Unova Kalos, here's some NPC models. Um, we have a dev letter, Ooh, I'm sure you guys read it. Um, okay, so, and then the dates for everything, so what do you guys care about? So the event is coming, um, the story event's coming on the 30th, we know that. Singing Suit. Misty also dropped on the 30th. Erica comes on the 1st. The Extreme Battle event is also on the 1st. Um, Entei reruns on the 4th. Um, we have a solo event in Mushroom Mania on the 7th. The Alola Stadium is coming on the 11th. Morty is coming on the 14th. Caitlyn on the 16th. Uh, Ho Ho's re rerun, no EX yet, coming on the 16th. The Villa rerun on the 19th. East Roller and Hilbert on the 20th. With their event coming also on the 20th. Yuxi's Legendary Arena on the 22nd. Alistair comes on the 22nd. And Duroc on the 25th. With the egg event ending also on the 25th. So let's actually take a look at the units real quick. Um, I think it's here. So we have um, Sigma Suit Erica and Leafeon. She'll, she'll be a spotlight, by the way. So she has Super Propulsion 2. Super Speeding Sun 3. And Charging Sun 5. We all know what that does. There are her stats. At 140, her attack stats still really low lower than Steven's. um she has solar blade we, that's physical solar solar beam for those who don't know x speed um she's our first mp refreshable sunny day unit soak up the sun that's plus two attack plus one crit in the sun you get an extra plus two attack and an extra plus one crit and get gradual heal she's a tech so her ex crits line not easy so she's guaranteed grass nukes and power increases if the weather is sunny. Um, okay. That's cool. Misty's also a tech. Um, she, so she charges the move gauge by 4 when she uses a status move. She has a 50% chance to raise her own evasion when she uses a, a, a move. And she starts off with gradual heal. Here are her stats as a tech. Um, I don't know where that defense went. What? Okay. Um, she has one gauge water gun. She has a mist, apply stat reduction. So your uh, your allies um cannot um get their stats re reduced, which is I don't know how yeah, I don't know about that. She has haze, so we have MP refreshable haze and go with the flow plus two defense to herself and plus two special defense to the whole team. Her sync move the power of this move increases when name when none of the target stats are raised. Um, so it's the same thing that Lear has, except um Missy can clear it much better. Um, Misty's also a spotlight. She's going on 30. We know that. And yeah, Erica's 4th ult. Misty's 19th ult. Okay, so we have Duroc and Staraptor. That's weird. Also a spotlight. Rip she he has Ripple Effect 9. We know that does. Power Posture and Set Fast 7. His attack stat 
is pathetically low at 140 for a draw. Not pathetically low, a bit low for 140. But okay, his move is Brave Bird. We know what that does. Um, but he has a lot of steadfast and so that really shouldn't be a worry. He, finally, someone else has the fog. He has Feather Dance and Have At You, plus 3 attack, plus 3 speed, all allies, and gradual heal. His attack, so his sick move. More attack, attack is probably the greater part of this move. Not bad. Um, spotlight coming at the end of October. Now we have uh, the one I was most excited for, Alistair and his Gigantamax Gengar. So he has Hold, hold Hostage 3, Toxic Power 3, and Hostile Environment 3. We all, we all know what, that, what those do. Stats at 143. He actually breaks 300 on his special attack. Not bad. His, his defenses are, are Yikes Forever. And his speed is 300. She's so Shadow Ball, Drain Punch, Sludge Bomb. We know, we know what those do. And his train moves No Escape. Plus 2 attack, uh, Special Attack and Crit. Free move effect next. Okay. Shadow Ball turns into G Max Terror. Applies restraint to all opponents. Drain punch, max knuckle plus two attack to the team. Max ooze plus two special attack to the team. So Alistair can um, be a decent su support just to top off whoever you want. And his sync move, silent mystery ghost beam. Um, power increases the target's restrained. Now my problem with this is, this is Alistair's ace and his sync move is still a ghost beam? What? Okay. Um... We'll check out their grades when they actually come to the game. Caitlyn and Mega Sableye. Um, so she has a quick tempo when she when she's when she first comes, and then she has like, this new thing called opening blockade. So applies the move gauge acceleration to the ally field of play the first time she enters the battle. That's quick tempo. Quick tempo. We know what that does. Mega Sableye's opening blockade applies the physical damage reduction effect. And special damage reduction effect to the allied field of play for the first time when the user enters the battle. Um, that's weird. So she also has synchro healing and innate vigilance. Both, so all three things are really good, especially for EX her. Her only attacking move is faint attack. Which is good, because she's a support. So it never misses. X defense all, X special defense all. Real, actually, not bad. And tr tr Trixie. Um, plus two attack to the whole team, plus one speed and accuracy to the whole team, and when used by Mega Sableye, um, applies the condition nullification effect to the whole team. Ewe Eye's Dark Impact, she's support, um, so yeah, that's all there is to it. I'm not sure what this condition nullification means, we'll probably try and look for it real quick. Morty has the best outfit I've seen in a while, oh my god. So, he has Wide Awake, or then Serum Combo 9. Serum Combo 9, what it does is restores 1 MP when the target's burned. Um, go Viral 9 and Burns Energy 3. His stats, attack stats really low. And that doesn't, his moves don't seem to fix that. He has a Shadow Claw, really weak move. Dark Hit plus Willow Wisp and Into the Night, plus 2 attack and defense to the team, plus 1 act, um, to himself, and plus 1 action. Which doesn't matter because all of his attacks are max accuracy, but okay. Then when he mega evolves, he gets a shadow sneak, um, and his he's a tech. Remember, so his sync move is tech lowered, but it boosts when the target is burned. So, as much as I like Morty's outfit, uh, his damage move is shadow sneak, which is a bit rough. If this was Phantom Force, he'd be busted. Unfortunately, he's not. Uh, 